Peace, what's good in the hood? It's uh, Black Friday, November 23rd, 2012, and the time is 6.04 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. What's good in the hood is that we got the communication upgrades that we were speaking about and promised earlier in the week, at least phase one of it, uh, doing this smooth operator style because I got irritated with not being able to hear myself and I'm sure other people might have the same dilemma but problem solved uh, we're moving forward so I'm gonna keep this one brief because I'm gonna take a bit of a hiatus and work behind the scenes get things prepared for the next year and the next month and uh, see if we can get this show on the road working properly and exact so this post, uh, let me pull it up now that I'm thinking about it. This post is a great find. Uh, this meme, this picture with Bill Gates. And it's because of a uh, somewhat of a personal challenge or inner struggle in regards to what to actually believe in. So, you know, this is pinpop.com and we figure out our own answers. And it says, Bill Gates says, I will always choose a lazy person to do a difficult job because he will find an easy way to do it. Um, and actually, he's got a little headpiece on, too, so maybe he's on the same program. Um, actually, that word lazy, it takes on different connotations. I mean, I've heard it said that there's really no such thing as a lazy person. Those are people who are without goals that inspire them to take action. So I think that was Tony Robbins or somebody. That's quoting other people, motivational speakers. But nonetheless, I think we all know what the term lazy means and we can take it for our own worth or make our own definitions, so on and so forth. But I put the term leisure and I think that term comes in handy because that's something that I agree with and I think that's the better way or that's the way that works best for me so I'm gonna take some time out and really look into it and figure out how we can implement this because like they say there's got to be an easier way to do things uh, the personal challenge that's resolved in regards to this it comes through the fact that sometimes it's it's a challenge to know who you should be accepting advice from. For example, getting to the meat of the matter of what I'm looking to convey with this message, with the communication upgrades that we got going on right now. Um, it's kind of like you got three answers. You got the answer that sounds like it's the correct one, and you got the one that actually is the correct one. And I think at the end of the day, it's going to be based on the end results that you get as well as who's actually getting or who's actually giving the advice so what I've learned you really have to figure out what results you want so that when you take action based on certain advice and you get results you know if that answer is correct or incorrect if you get losing results from a person that gave you some losing advice and you weren't really expecting to win because you don't know what exactly your results were and that person that you took that advice from didn't actually have those examples to show for themselves well chances are you can get into a pattern and this you know one of those logical brain boggling things but I'm gonna step time I'm gonna step away and take some time and really assess how to make this thing work easier um, you know what they say if it was that easy everybody will be doing it my personal stance is that if it was that easy most people wouldn't be doing it because many people believe that things are supposed to be difficult but it depends on who you listen to Bill Gates says that um, he or I will find an easy way to do it based on being lazy or leisurely when it comes to a difficult job so uh, working behind the scenes and look forward to talking to y'all more in depth a little later on in the future but for now moving forward give it a victory